皆さん、こんにちは。And welcome to Shogo's podcast. So, if you guys remember the channel that I watch probably the most about、uh, Japanese swordsmanship and kobudo, ancient martial arts, you know, Japanese martial arts, Asayama Ichiden Ryu. If you guys have、uh, remember,、um, I've mentioned about their channel many, many times before in my videos.、Um, once when I talked with Waragiri Patto Sai san, who is a very famous、uh, Tamishigiri YouTuber,、uh, I mentioned,、uh, he actually mentioned about Sam Aichi and Ryu that in, if he has some time in the future, he would love to train in their Ryuha. And actually, I have been watching almost every single video of Sam Aichi and Ryu's channel.、Um, I will be happy to put their, uh, their um, YouTube channel link in the description. Box, I hope you can check it out for me. But I actually have talked about their、um, channel before, their teachings before, this podcast channel. If you guys remember,、um, I have learned something really important that the headmaster of Asam h i n d u actually has been using a very dented, destroyed katana. And I was like, wow, this person is not treating his、um, katana properly. And、um, I really couldn't accept that in the beginning. But Eventually, I, find out, I found out that in this video, he explained that because he, they're training in an ancient martial art style, they have a lot of actual physical contact in their skills. And because of that, it's inevitable that their tools, that they're using a ton of their wooden swords and such, will be dented and、um, broken once in a while, be、uh, heavily damaged. Yeah. But what's really, really surprising is that the sensei has been using that Yaito, which is the training katana, for more than 25 years. Five years, he said. Yeah. So you can understand that although it is heavily damaged,、um, and he has been using it、um, for a lot of the vigorous training, he has also been tr-、um, treating it with the utmost care and with this love as much as possible. And I really, again, respected their Yuha for that. And、uh, anyways, so they, they introduced a lot of their amazing skills in their Yuha, and it's really cool. But What's even more amazing this time? The reason why I am recording this podcast today is because I actually have an opportunity to collaborate with them. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. The other day, I actually had a phone call with the,、uh, the headmaster, Six Sensei, and also his.、Um, We should call him his right arm. He, that's Kata san, which is also Kata sensei. He's also an instructor within Ryuha. They are actually, well, this time Kata san is not coming only six sensei, which is the headmaster, but they actually have a seminar in Osaka to introduce their Ryuha styles to complete beginners. And I was like, wow, this is a great occasion for me to actually meet、um, six sensei and learn the, the styles, you know, the skills of their Ryuha. And I was like, this is great. I'm going to be on.、Uh, Uh, what should I say? Signing up for this. And then the staff,、uh, which is also one of the instructors, he's a really high class in, within the new hub, but also gave me a reply to by email and was like, Are you that Shogo from Let's Ask Shogo? And I was like, Are you, you know about me? And I was like, Are you really, you really know about me? That is so amazing. And we actually talked over the phone around midnight one night and we decided that we should definitely do a collaboration video. And so, At the, it's gonna be a two day seminar in Osaka, and、um, it's gonna be great. I'm, I don't know, I'm pretty sure by the time this、uh, podcast is out, it's already over for privacy reasons. I don't want anyone to know that I was gone away from my house for a long time. But actually, I'm gonna be taking Harumi and the kids together with me to Osaka so we can stay at a hotel for one night just for fun. We're not gonna be doing any sightseeing or anything, but just for fun, we're gonna be staying at a hotel. I can let you guys know because it's already over. But, anyways. It's great that I have this opportunity, and I'm going to be asking to them to teach me some of the basic skills of the SMH Dendu, of the Kobudo. It'd be great if I can do a short interview to Seiki Sensei too, if I have some time. And also, I think.、Um, Of course, I'll be able to do, take the seminar, so I'll be able to gain more skills and such. And I'll definitely, absolutely let you guys know about、uh, what I learned through their classes. And I'm really excited to be able to share、uh, this information with you. Thank you so much. So, and this story doesn't end here. What's even more exciting is that they actually p- are planning on making some study material,、uh, video study material of their own Nuha in. Foreign languages, and they were really struggling to make such content. and They're planning on selling it on the internet and such, you know, to, so you can take the classes of Asam H. Didn't do, but、um, they were explaining that they're having a hard time trying to make it in English because it's really difficult if we make everything in subtitles. 
you know, it's very difficult to, you know, read everything all the time and also try to move your body. It's very complicated, right? So they were trying to create a voiceover content. So if there's a different English speaking voice that's explaining what's happening, going on right now, and maybe partially they would use the actual voices of the sensei, but about 80% they want to do a voiceover, but they don't actually have a good person that they know of that can actually do that for them. What do you think they said? they actually asked me if I could do that for them. Now, I need to make it very clear this is not confirmed. This is not 100% confirmed that I'll be able to receive this job. Of course, they might just simply quit making the content in the first place um, and everything, but it's going to be really exciting. If I'm actually privileged to do this job, it means that their content will be in my voice in this, you know, this speaking English voice, you know. So I'll be able to say that if you check out this you know, this, these products, you'll be able to hear my voice. I'll be able to spread it, you know, and actually promote it to sell to foreign countries. That'd be great. And if I am able to do that, I think I'll be able to do so many things. I mean, like Tozando has a very similar online website where they, where they sell the, uh, the videos, you know, for lessons. They actually only have subtitles. Maybe, maybe I can promote to them and tell them give them a promotion, you know, suggestion saying that maybe they could use my voice to do a voiceover. That could work out too. Let's see how that goes. Anyways, I wanted to tell you guys that the future is bright. There are so many exciting things I'm doing right now, and this is just one of them, but I'm really happy to be able to report to you guys about something so exciting. Please, please look forward to future podcasts and maybe possibly videos where I talk about how uh, the seminar and how the collaboration went. Thank you so much for your time. So then everyone, as I always say, the ultimate goal of my life is to make all Japan lovers' dreams come true. So I know there's a lot of people studying Japanese, willing to come to Japan to travel, study, or work, or even train our traditional culture and such, such as Yaida, right, as we were talking about today. However, I'm very afraid that Japan will not be able to make everyone's dreams come true in the future because we're facing a lot of social problems, we're losing our traditional culture, and the younger generations who are supposed to be carrying on the good things about Japan are dying because of all the social issues being shoved against them. So I really want to dedicate my life trying to make Japan a better place. I want to try to solve the social problems, preserve and evolve traditional culture, and also help out the younger generations so they can have a brighter future. And to do this, the nearest goal I have right now is to raise money to become a Japanese language instructor. I'm actually um, receiving donations on Ko-fi, which is a platform very close to Patreon as a donation platform. Right now, I've already achieved my, my goal to pay the uh, school fees for me to get the official license of a Japanese language instructor, but exceeded donations will be used for study materials, also for um, equipment I need to take videos and live streams, and also extra qualifications and such. It'd be great if you can continue to support me until the end of September 2022. Alright guys, thank you so much for your time, and I am very very excited. Wish me luck. Bye bye!